Okay, here we go. Chapter nine, how to use the will. It is wrong for us to apply our will to any other man or woman in order to get them to do what we want done. Um, so if compelling people by physical force to do things um, for you reduces them to slavery, compelling them by mental force, mental force, I'm sorry, means accomplishing exactly the same thing. Only difference is in its method. Um, in, indeed, any attempt to use your will upon others will only tend to defeat your purpose. Substance is friendly to you. It is more anxious to give you what you want than you are to get it. To get rich, you only need to use your willpower upon yourself. Um, use your will to keep yourself thinking and acting in a certain way. Don't try to project your will or your thoughts or your mind out in space to act on things or people. Um, use your mind to form a mental image of what you want and to hold that vision and faith and purpose and use that will to keep your mind working in the right way. The steadier, the more continuous your faith and purpose, um, the more rapidly you will get rich because you will make only positive impressions upon substance and you will not neutralize or offset them by negative impressions. Doubt or unbelief is as, excuse me, is as certain to start a movement away from you as faith and purpose are to start one toward you. All the promises are unto them that believe and unto them only. Since belief is all important, it would behoove us to um, guard our thoughts, guard our thoughts for sure. Um, uh, command your attention, command your attention where it needs to be. It is by your will that you determine upon what things your attention shall be fixed on. No one ever got rich by studying poverty and thinking about poverty. So don't talk about poverty. Don't investigate it. Don't even concern yourself with it. Uh, get rich. That is the best way that we can help the poor. Don't read anything which fills your mind with gloomy images of want and suffering. What tends to do away with poverty is not getting a pictures of poverty in your mind, but getting pictures of wealth into the minds of the poor. Um, the poor do not need charity. They need inspiration. Inspiration will cause them to rise out of their misery. If you want to help the poor, demonstrate to them that they can become rich by becoming rich yourself. People must be taught to become rich um, by creation, not by competition. Every man who becomes rich by competition throws down behind him that ladder by which he rises and keeps others down. But every man who gets rich by creation opens a way for thousands to follow him and inspires them to do so. Um, you are not showing hardness of heart or an uncaring, you know, demeanor. Uh, when you refuse to pity poverty, see poverty, read poverty, think or talk about poverty at all. Use your willpower to keep your mind off the subject of poverty and keep it fixed with faith and purpose on the vision of what you want. That is a summary, chapter nine. We will see you for chapter 10.